Hello, last time we are talking about、uh, when someone submit the form, how to get the user's name and also the user's manager's name. So this time we talking about how to build a dynamic form within the Microsoft form. <coughs> so the goal of that is、uh, when user. Check the consecutive days. We only show the consecutive days, start date and end dates. These two question, and we don't want to show the single date and partial dates questions. When the user select the single dates, we skip these two questions and go to the question four directly. And、uh, we won't show this、uh, five, six, and seven questions. When user select partial date answer, we skip questions three, four, five. Oh, sorry, we skip two, three, four, and go to question five directly. <coughs> So to do that, Microsoft uh, 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 function the name of the function is、uh, branching. So to enable branching, we just、uh, select the first question, and、uh, here we have the three dot here. So after we click that, we can add the branching. Now we enable the branching option. So when user select question one, uh, not uh, the, the the answer one, consecutive days, we want to go to question two. So we go to question two. So after user answer the question two, we go to the next question three because we need the start date and the dates. And、uh, after answer the And the dates we want to skip four, five, six, seven. We go to the end of the form. Okay. So after, if user select single dates, we go to question four and only answer question four. So we go to question four, and after we answer the question four, we go to the end of the form. So if user Select question partial dates. We'll go to the question five as a partial date, and then after they they answer five, they go to six and seven. <coughs> okay, so let's、uh, test it. Preview. So now all the other question are.、Uh, Invisible. If we select consecutive days, it will pop up question two and three, and it it has、uh, submit. So if you select single day, they only have one questions. Partial days will have、uh, three questions. So how about,、uh, for example, if user submit. Partial dates, and they submit ten to eleven. Before they submit, they change mind. They want to do the single dates because they they want to take holiday leave. So if the user submit this form before that, they answer the question of、uh, about.、Uh, Partial dates, but they only submit the single dates answer. So if the user submit the form, it will only submit single dates and single date date. On the background of the control panel, we won't show the partial date. Answers because the user select the single dates and submit. 
Okay, so next time we'll sh we'll show you if the user select consecutive days, and they start select the start date and the end dates. How can we calculate how many weekdays our work days within the time range? Okay, hope you enjoy this video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.